Hello and welcome to the Club Zone. Today, I actually have a co-host, the section editor and chief editor. Editor-in-chief. Editor-in-chief, um, Sydney Brammer. Hi, I'm the Humans of Redwood editor. I'm excited to be here for this special edition on the Club Zone. Today, we have Kira Bixler. And tell us why you were here today, Kira. So last Thursday, I was crowned the Miss Tulare County Outstanding Teen. Enter applause in here, Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What is that? Absolutely. So the Miss America organization is a scholarship organization, and I just won the local title of Miss Tulare County Outstanding Teen. Um, it's a great opportunity for young women. It's the number one provider of scholarships for women in the nation, and I am so excited to represent our area here and at state this summer. That's awesome. And... How did you get, like, like, how did you hear about this in the first place? So I have known about this organization since I was very little. I went to my first show, I believe, when I was about four years old. And ever since I've fallen in love with the program, I became the Miss Tulare County Princess when I was in third grade, I believe. And they provide so many opportunities for people. Um, reading in classrooms, speaking at extremely important meetings with all of these extremely influential people, it taught me so much from a very young age. Wow. And how did that feel, you know, to win the Outstanding Teen? It was so exciting. I've dreamt of this since I was a little girl. So to have this moment finally becoming true was just mind-blowing. That's awesome. Are there certain things that you did to prepare yourself for the pageant? Yes, I've been having interview lessons since I was very young. I've been developing my social impact initiative, which is called Imagine with Kira. I focus on literacy in our county. Um, I also have prepared a tap dance to Spider-Man by Michael Buble. And there's a lot that goes into preparation for this. It's extraordinary what some of these girls have accomplished. Wow. Um, what are the different categories to win? And were you hoping to win a certain title? So there is evening gown, on stage question, talent, wellness, and interview. Uh, of course, I'd always dreamt of being the Miss Tulare County Outstanding Teen since I was the Miss Tulare County Princess. Oh, wow. Out of the segments in the, the competition, I don't know if it's like, how, how would I refer to it? Huh? Like in the pageant, I guess. What was your favorite segment to do? Hmm, probably either interview or talent. I've been dancing since I was very little, so it was so cool to be able to for perform for everybody. Um, but also interview, like I said, I've been practicing since I was very little. I love talking in front of people, and it was another great opportunity to speak my mind in front of people. What are some of the lessons you have learned along the way throughout this whole experience? Never change yourself to fit what they, you think they want you to be um, because you never know what the judges are looking for. So if you are molding yourself to what you think you should be and they're looking for who you really are, then you're not there. Yeah. Um, so we've heard that you wrote and illustrated a book. Yes. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So several years ago, I wrote a book called Imagine with Kira, like it fits into my yeah. social impact initiative. Uh, it's just teaching young children about the value of reading and literacy and how so many children do not get the experience of having a book in their own home um, and the importance of doing something about that. Wow. What started your passion for this literary literacy in the younger groups? Around, hmm, I was probably turning six, uh, I had heard that there is a 41% illiteracy rate in our county, so I was told almost half. Oh, um, wow. So I, I knew I had to do something about this. So instead of receiving presents for my birthday that year, I asked my friends to donate books to the Kauia Health Care Center, and we more than doubled the size of their pediatric library, and then it just all kicked off from there. That is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So how did you write this book? You know, how did, did you do the drawings yourself? What kind of inspired um, the idea of it? So uh, Tulare County Office of Education hosts this book fair every year where they encourage children to write their own books. Um, so that's what initially gave me the idea. And then from there, um, I worked on kind of, I guess, a watered down autobiography of my life and what inspired me. Um, and then I did illustrate as well, yes. Wow. So what was the book about? 
Um, you know, like I said, it's kind of like a watered down autobiography. Right. It's just focused on the importance of literacy for children and explaining to kids that not everyone has mm -hmm. the opportunity to have a book in their home. How do you plan on continuing this passion in your future? So I'm working right now um, as a Redwood FBLA officer. I'm one of the community service vice presidents. And we recently hosted a um, drive through of sorts where we were giving kids backpacks that had either a copy of my book or a book from Read for Life, school supplies, uh, a business card for Brainiacs Mentoring, which is an organization that I co-founded. And um, we're working on also developing a universal bookmark for our area so it would have a bookmark for the kids on one side and then it would be permeable so they can rip that off and then on the other side it's a resource list for the parents of everything in Tulare County that we have to offer. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, can you tell us about a little bit about the things you are involved in at Redwood along with outside of Redwood that have kind of helped you throughout this whole experience. Totally. So I am an ASB officer. I'm the sophomore vice president. Um, I am an FBLA officer. I'm in choir. I'm a varsity cheerleader. Uh, what else do I do? I'm a dancer. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, like I said, co-founded Brainiacs Mentoring, so that was super exciting. It's a uh, tutoring and activities program that's free and virtual for K-8 through students. That started during COVID, um, and a number of other things, but that's probably my main focus right now. Wow. Being involved in so many things, how would you say you balance that with yeah. just like your mm -hmm. relaxing time and your social life? So it's very important to me that I make my passions my relaxing time. So like when I go to dance, that's super relaxing for me. I have a great time. So um, making the things in my life that other people would consider making themselves busy, that's my break. <laughs> oh, that's a really cool way to look at it. Thank you. Wow, okay. Um, so this pat is this like a year long thing? You know, over the whole year, is it a season? Yes, it's a year long thing. So mm -hmm. um, I have roughly a year <laughs> until I would give up my title. I will be competing for Miss California's Outstanding Teen, I believe in late June. And I'm super excited for that. It's in Clovis this year, so it's super close. Okay. Um, and if, you know, I if dream of winning that, I would go to nationals that following month. Okay. Where does nationals take place? I believe it's in Florida right now. It recently moved, so I'm not 100% sure, but okay. I think Florida. And how are you preparing for um, Miss California team? So um, I'm hoping to design my own gown, which is super exciting. Oh, that's, that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Thank you. And same with my talent costume. Um, like I said, I'm doing a tap dance to Spider-Man, so I want to somehow mirror his own costumes yeah. that'd be really cool um also of course tons of interview lessons um listening to opinions from others and then just taking the opportunity to serve my community this year and gain that kind of experience wow. and what ways do you plan on serving the community besides the book you uh, just published <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see so of course su supporting my fellow sisters from throughout the state I will be going to Miss Kings County and Miss Kings County Outstanding Teen I believe mm -hmm. in two weeks um, I'm reading at Shannon Ranch Elementary on Friday it's read across America week which ties in with my social impact initiative so that's super exciting it's a huge week for me um, I'm working with the United Way um, working on getting more of my book printed, just a lot of small projects that I'm hoping will come together for one big one. Okay. And are you planning on um, writing any more books soon, or is this just a one and done kind of thing? Potentially. I'm also interested in um, printing my book in Spanish eventually and redoing the illustration since it was written several years ago. Okay. Overall, like, what would you say that Miss Tulare County Outstanding Teen, like, what does that mean to you? So, Miss Tulare County's Outstanding Teen has taught me to never be the victim in my own life. No matter what you're going through, think of the hard things that other people could be going through as well, um, and use your experiences to help them. Um, that was a major part of why I initially joined the organization, um, and why I also ended up partnering with United Way along the way. That's and awesome. Kira, the big question, why do you do it? Why do yeah. I do it? Uh, you know, we only get one life. So one of my favorite quotes is, don't be the best in the world, be the best for the world. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to use my life to positively impact other people as much as I possibly can. Okay. 
Wow, what an inspiration. Can I, know. I, can I ask, what do you plan on doing in your future? You know, what does the future hold for you? I would love to run a national news organization. That's like the dream. That's <laughs> awesome. You're so well-rounded. <laughs> Thank like, you. you know, it's like everything. <laughs> yeah. Thank That's you so awesome. much. Uh, like a, I'm thinking... Um, broadcaster like for the news be, type yeah. of thing you would like, be great a at talk talk show host yeah <laughs> that would Gosh. be super fun wow okay well thank you kira so much for joining thank us today you. thank you very much and congratulations thank you yes. so much and good luck to the future with your yes. california thank standing you so team much. national I'm so excited <laughs> all right and that's a wrap